Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Are you gearing up for your first Ramadan as a convert? Or perhaps it's been a while since you've observed fasting. Don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we'll share essential tips to help you successfully navigate Ramadan as a new Muslim or someone returning to fasting after a break. There are only a few days left until Ramadan, Muslims around the world are preparing for a month of fasting. For converts who have never experienced fasting or have been away from it for some time, adapting to the obligation of Ramadan fasting may require some adjustments. However, this doesn't mean that we cannot successfully observe the fast. Here are some tips for converts to successfully and meaningfully observe Ramadan. 1. Strengthen your mindset and change your perspective on fasting. For converts or those new to Islam, fasting may seem unfamiliar and even challenging. They have to get used to abstaining from food and drink throughout the day which might be perceived as unhealthy. However, for most adults, fasting is more about mindset than actual danger to the body, unless there are underlying chronic health issues. Fasting during Ramadan is actually safe for health. Therefore, it's beneficial to read more about fasting to help overcome mental barriers during fasting. Two, cultivate intention for the sake of Allah. It's important to cultivate the intention for the sake of Allah to succeed in observing Ramadan fasting. Pray to Allah to make it easy for you and to accept your fast done purely for His sake. Imagine being among those called to enter the gate of Rayan, the fasting gate, in paradise. As narrated by Saul bin Saad, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, In paradise, there is a gate called Rayan, through which only those who fast will enter on the day of resurrection. None else will enter through it. It will be said, Where are those who used to fast? So they will get up, and none will enter it except them. When they have entered, it will be locked, and no one else will enter. Narrated by Muslim. Observing Ramadan is a highly rewarding act of worship. Therefore, it's recommended to read about the virtues of fasting. This will increase faith and boost the spirit to endure hunger and thirst, as well as to refrain from bad habits and deeds. Three, practice fasting. To prepare for Ramadan, it's advisable to start practicing voluntary fasting before Ramadan arrives. Voluntary fasting in the preceding months aims to adjust the body's clock, thirst level, and the amount and type of food that keeps us active and energetic. You can start getting used to voluntary fasting in the early weeks of the month of Shaban. It's important to get accustomed to voluntary fasting as it helps the body adapt to such practices. However, it's not recommended to fast in the days immediately preceding Ramadan. As mentioned in a hadith narrated by Abu Huraira, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, do not anticipate Ramadan by fasting one or two days just before it begins, except for a person who has the habit of fasting, in which case he may fast. Narrated by Al-Bukhari and Muslim 4. Adopt a healthy eating pattern during Ramadan slash Ramadan is closely related to detoxifying the mind, soul, and body. It's the perfect time to distance oneself from unhealthy foods and adopt a clean and healthy eating pattern. The first week of Ramadan is usually the most challenging as the body adjusts to the change in eating patterns. By the second week, the body generally feels better in the third and fourth weeks, there's often a temptation to feel thirsty rather than hungry during the daytime. Five, 
eat healthy, moderate-sized meals during suhoor, pre-dawn meal, and iftar, breaking fast. During Ramadan, it's recommended to consume healthy foods in moderate portions for suhoor and iftar. Consuming fruits, vegetables, low-carb foods, and protein will help maintain energy levels as much as possible. Foods based on legumes can cause excessive gas in the stomach, which can be uncomfortable during tarawih prayers. Therefore, it's best to avoid consuming legumes excessively during Ramadan. For women who menstruate during mid-Ramadan, it's recommended to eat and drink moderately during menstruation. This will make it easier for the body to resume fasting afterward. During menstruation, it's important to ensure adequate hydration. Additionally, you can consume multivitamins and supplements during your Ramadan diet to keep your body energized during fasting. Dates can also be a great addition to your iftar meal, as it's sunnah to break your fast with dates. Dates contain beneficial micronutrients and provide you with quick energy. Thank you for tuning in. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share this video with others who might benefit. Wishing you a fruitful and spiritually enriching Ramadan journey ahead. Ramadan Mubarak.